Yo, what is up everybody? This is King Hitman here and the kid got the showcase for you. I know I'm kind of late for this unit, so a lot of y'all are like, wow. <laughs> Better late than never. Never. Leave me alone. I look, I that's how I know I'm late. I can't even I can't even get the quote all correctly. Whatever. I have a golden freeze and, and the words, yo, the words. I have a Golden Frieza and Android 17 showcase for you guys. I want to see how good they are. I have not used them yet. Like, I have no idea what they're capable of. So I do want to use them. I want to see, like, what are their impressions? Like, how am I going to feel about this unit? Let's see how they do. Turn one, we got them here. 82K defense. Let's go over them. Quick breakdown. Attack and defense, 70. Great chance of launching up to two additionals. Each additional gives them 7%. Up to 70% for attack and defense. And one key up to 7 they get a chance of performing critical hit plus 7% and reduces damage received by 7% within the same turn of each attack being done. Okay, now back to what they... Wow, we can't even... This is a great turn one. This is a terrible turn one. This is great. This is great. Okay, let's see. So we should be all right, though. I mean... 12 key, I guess, start off at the floor level? I don't know. Their links are about, uh, let's say, an average of five. Like, it seems like some of them are sevens. I think some of them were fours. But he has been working, or he or she has been working on this account. So, so let's see what they do right here. 1.47. That is not a good first impression. I. Oh, man, that is not a good first impression. They are building up, of course. You see their key meter is rising right now. So, okay, three attacks. Fair enough. I, I'm i trying to, to, to lower the bar. Maybe I had the bar a little too high. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But be right back. All right, let's see. First of all, we got the Budokai 3, three theme playing right now. I definitely got to run that back. We Simpora active, so they are getting an additional three key. The Glizzy Gobbler. I ain't gonna lie. That fish looks fire, though. I can't hold you. It definitely looks fire. I need some of that seafood. But anyway. Okay. See, look at the massive difference. Okay. Okay. We're chatting now. 168k defense based off of, I, I mean, of course, solid support is active. I think tough as nails give how much defense? 18.5% defense. Solid support. Oh, solid support it lowers enemy defense. I'm tripping. Okay, uh, Brainiacs doesn't, I mean, 12% attack and defense. I'm lying, that's massive. So they are getting 30% uh, attack and defense from those two links. Now they're max key. Let's see what they're going to do right here. If you don't know, this is crazy to me, but they actually share five links with Goku and Frieza. It's just, so, okay, 3.7 basically. See, now these are numbers I can get right off of because they are doing their additionals. They do have... Not a great chance or anything like that, but they do have a decent chance of... Yeah, the crits are activating. Crits on normals do massive damage. Don't sleep on those. They have done three additionals again, even though they're all normals. That does bother me. They're taking nothing, of course. That's 28% mitigation. They lowered the enemy's attack and defense. Of course, this event is very basic, but I kind of just... I just grabbed a random infinite Dragon Ball history event. I was like, make it work, Hitman. So here we are. But yeah, we're about to get them linked up with what is basically their best linking partner on this team. But of course, the TN and Roshi support. I might keep that around instead, actually. We'll see. All right, here we are right back. Now, I'm going to... All seven links are active, so they're going to stay in the middle. I am going to keep the support. At 206k deep. See, that's great. I'm, yo, I'm cool off of that. 206k, that's good. I like that. I like that. 206k, they do have their mitigation. I'm going to float Goku and Frieza. We're going to float Goku and Frieza. We're going to keep Tien and Roshi. Let's see. Let's do this right here. 24 key. I, okay. Yo, these guys, they might be underrated. They might be underrated. I like the numbers I'm seeing from them. They're not even fully built up. You know, they got to keep doing it. Are they fully built up? They might be fully built up. They might be. Yeah, that. Um, No, they have two more attacks. They have to do 10 attacks. They've done eight. So two more attacks, they'll be fully built up. 5.5. That's a good... Yo, that's good. What's everybody's beef with this card? I like this. I mean, of course, those aren't massive numbers, but that's not what I'm asking of them. They are giving utility. They do have an active skill. It feels like we might not see it in this fight. I might have stepped into a fight that was a bit too easy, if anything. 7.8 from Goku and Frieza. 
Them with Tien and Roshi is a monster. They, that's when they turn into a monster of a unit. That Roshi and Tien or the Tech Tien, the type support. They they turn into an animal, man. All right, here we are. Kaioken is on rotation. You guys see how close we are to getting his active? Do you guys understand what I'm looking? You know how mad that just made me, bro? And he's not even built up like that, so he definitely wouldn't kill. But he's locked, so we do have to... We have to use a Sensu just to heal all of it right back anyway. Defense right now, 223k with just the 40% from... Because, I mean, Kyle can... He activates Fierce Battle, but that's whatever. So, at least in terms of their defense, of course. Attack, we want as much attack as possible. So, right now, yo, this unit feels like they're underrated. I feel like you guys have been slandering them. I wasn't hyped for this unit at all, and I like what I'm seeing from them right now. This is going to be the... Listen... They haven't done any additional supers, which is definitely pissing me off. But uh, after this super right here, next time you see them, 5.47. Next time you see them, they will have their active skill. We're going to do that. Their defense is going to jump even higher. They're going to have a guaranteed crit for one turn. They're going to have extra 7 key. They're going to be crazy. But yeah, they're just not doing additional supers. I see how this can be a problem. They took nothing. Type this. They did take nothing. And that Deborah can hit kind of hard, honestly. I, I see him do 140, 150k a lot. He, he can hit kind of hard. See, even Kyle Ken is taking nothing. Because they debuffed him so much. But I, it's part of their card. That's part of what they do. It's part of what they bring to the table. They're, they seem well-rounded. All right, here we are. I'm not going to use their active on this turn because I just floated MVP 17 and I want to see how high their defense can get. So right here, no active. We're going to look. They can't even get. But look how high their key is already. Yo, y'all are sleeping on this unit. Y'all have been slandering them for like five months. You're telling me this unit can do all of this. Defense is crazy. They, of course, were building up 4.8. So they're not even below 4.8 anymore. I mean, you keep the TN and Roshi on rotation. They're fine. They're fully built up, of course. Lowering attack and defense. I got the active skill in my back pocket if I ever felt like I was in a compromising situation. I think I like this unit. And their leader skill is good. Universe Survival Saga is it's gonna hold up for a while, of course. Join Forces, however, um, I listen, Join Forces is not a bad team. It's just a dysfunctional ass one, man. It's weird running Join Forces. So next time you see these guys, we are going to use their active skill. Let's get into it. Okay, okay. I might have held out a little too long. I uh, I didn't know. I didn't remember Majin Vegeta being able to hit that hard. The kid definitely died. Can't hold you. There's no backups, so I can't, like, run the showcase back and get their active skill. We're beat. I'm beat. I'm beat. I, really, with their active skill, I truly think, because I would have had their active skill, that I would have had MVP 17 on their right side and Tien and Roshi on their left side in the front in the first slot. They would have been well over 400k defense. There's no way they wouldn't have been over 400 and something k defense, and they still have the mitigation in their back pocket. I really like that unit. I think they've been getting slandered a little too much. Let me know what you guys think. Like, I really want to know what do you guys think based off of this showcase right now. I like what I saw. I do. Hitman is out. Hope I entertained. Consider liking and subbing for more. Appreciate your time regardless. Be easy.